How about a scattering tools which modify instances based on paint, height, or proximity, including viewport optimizations with multiple culling options, and all that is for free? Now that for sure would be dope, right? The Open Scatter tool is a free and open source scattering add on which is available on the market for a supporting fees if you want to contribute to the author, but still totally free if you get it from Gumroad or GitHub. You can go to the GitHub page and look for the latest version on this corner, then download the zip file down below, and the rest is usual. You go to the preferences under the add on and install the download file from disk. The add-on will be on the sidebar once you hit N, and using it is super easy. You need a surface to scatter on, and an object like maybe a tree to distribute it on the surface. Then, from the emitter picker, select the surface, a new window will pop up. There we can add a new scattering system, which includes all the parameters to modify it to your needs. Starting with the basic things, like picking the tree as an instance to scatter it along the surface, but keep in mind while using high poly trees or anything of this sorts, it's better to lower down the density because the default value of 10 can cause some lag with large number of trees distributed at once. You also have the option to set a distance between the instances and prevent collision or intersections. Scale and rotation is something basic and important usually with setting a randomization to those two values to present a better result, but other options are also available there to be explored. The culling option is quite nice for painting the density on the surface with weight paint, so you just need to assign the surface vertices as a vertex group, insert it in the culling tab, switch to weight paint, and draw where you want to have trees, which for me, the best way to identify where you want the scattering to be but mind the subdivision of the surface, cause that's the key of accurate drawing. You also have the option to distribute along the height or based on angle. Using the proximity option will give you the ability to affect the instances with a force mesh object on both push and pull options so you either distribute inside the mesh or just outside it based on the assigned distance. The viewport optimizations are at bottom with three based options for viewport density control, proxy preview to keep the mesh light while you're working, and camera culling to delete anything outside the camera shot. And that's it. If you like it, do support the author, because this one is quite dope, and see you next time. Stay sharp. Goodbye.